hello guys welcome to our today's tutorial and our today's tutorial is about how to make jquery alert box as you can see they're really simple and they get disappear when we click on the x button it was really easy and all you need to do is just to add a simple animation and a bit of jquery for it and now let's get started as you can see, I have already embedded a material icon CSS for the X and a main jQuery file followed by the style sheet and another jQuery file responsible for closing those alert boxes. Now let's get started by removing the whole code. We're done with the HTML now. Let's remove the jQuery and let's reload. Now we have a blank canvas to work on. Now what we're going to do is first we're going to create a div element with class alert and a secondary class success. We're giving two classes that is one for determining the type of the element and second for determining the style of the element. Success means a green alert bar. It's all up to you that whatever you want you can style it accordingly. It's all up to you. Now let's add some text to it and then we're going to add a span element with class material icons and with a class close. We're using material icons over here because they look nice. You can also use the thumbs entity. No problem in that both will look the same but I prefer material icons over the entity. So no matter. As you can see now our markup is almost complete and you can see the changes now what we're going to do is we're going to copy it and paste it for a while so that we have some decent amount of content on which we can perform some actions with the jQuery now moving to the jQuery uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a document ready function at the first it's really important don't forget it because it can create some problems if you miss it so jQuery selector dot doc document dot ready function and after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna trigger the close inside the alert so let's begin with jQuery selector. So we're gonna trigger the close all in the alert. So dollar brackets dot alert dot close, and we're gonna bind a click even to it. And when somebody will click on that X. What we're going to do is, we're going to animate the opacity to zero, then we're going to hide it. But before that, we have to select the parent that is alert over here. So this dot parent. And now we are selecting the alert box instead of the close and then we're going to animate it to opacity 0 this is optional but I prefer it because if we directly hide it it will not give that effect that is really needed by us and it's all up to you you can try it without the animation it will still look nice but not that nice now finally hide and we're gonna set the speed to 500 over here and now let's give it a try as you can see it's working but it's pretty slow so let's make it even faster okay as you can see it's working really nice and it's pretty sweet now now as you can see we're done over here now let's move to the css but i'm not going to show you the full code because it's really simple you can start it accordingly but i'm going to show you a bit of code that's really important for you 
and that is for the types of alert box here we're using single type of alert box that is success but in the style sheet we have three more types of alert boxes that is in danger and warning as you can see there all of them have a different color of its own and a different font color actually and now let's give it a try by just changing the, the classes so success info warning and finally danger now let's reload as you can see it has changed and it's look pretty nice over there and now we're all done if you want to see this click in the description below and i hope you like the tutorial just do hit the subscribe button for more and if you liked it just give it a thumbs up because we really need it and if you haven't subscribed us yet just subscribe us because we make new videos every monday and thursday and the thursday is the ui day from now